All right, what's going on guys? Dries Messi here. I hope you guys are doing well today. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to get better, to improve, you know, put your settings together in the game. Lately, I've been getting multiple questions from guys on Facebook pages, on my channel. Um, how do I put this setup together? So I just want to address that. I hope my explanation will be sufficient enough for you guys to, uh, to help you guys. Um, yeah, find your way in setting the bike up and... Um, and, and getting quicker so if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button please like the video and also comment i do this kind of video very often so in the hope to help you know especially people new to the game because i know there's a whole lot of you know people out there that really love MotoGP game and wanted to improve with the game and getting quicker so i i hope the my thought process and how i put the setting together would be of help in helping you find your own way in putting the uh, setup together and uh, enjoying the game so when i first started the game i always used the uh, recommended setting you know given by the game you know i think that that has been included into the game since 2022 game so if you trigger that it will give you a, a base recommending setting and then i'll trigger that to uh, my liking i always start with the trans transmission uh, settings before i walk my way down to other part of the bike i have three tracks i always you know used to uh, determine my base settings the first one is quarter the socket of the america is one of my favorite track and also a bumpy track um, in terms of surface that can really you know help you you know get the right preload settings um, the hardness of the uh, um, of the spring all, all that kind of stuff so if you're able to be comfortable and quick on quarter uh, you know the all the elevation changes the crest i think you should be able to be quick as well on other tracks so the second track i always go to is Aston. it's kind of my home gp i live in netherlands i love the track as well very quick high section you know direction changes is also uh a uh, you know it's a part of the track you know braking on the very extreme lean angle using the rear to turn the bike in and um, a very narrow track that requires you to be very very precise and um, smooth on application of your throttle braking and uh, yeah it's, it's just a demanding track to uh, to put your setup together and, uh, and and be quick on so if you're able to go quick on us as well i think that's a really good positive step to get quicker on other tracks in the game the third track i will I, I personally always use to pieces my setup together is barcelona barcelona is it's a very very uh, quick track uh, that consists a you know higher top speed long back straight and a very heavy braking zone um, you know the back straight breaking into the left under if you get that wrong you will you know, lose the the front end and uh, you, know, you know throw the lap away. I mean, it's all, it's almost everywhere like that. But I've, I find that the, those three tracks really help me personally to uh, to piece together a setup that will really help me down the line in other tracks because those three tracks they they are consisted of multiple um, differences of of situation you can come up with on on another track, which can really help you push this together a good set setup direction so that you can use in other tracks to uh, how to get quicker and from then on pieces another setup together for yourself so all right guys so this is the so special setup i'm using right now for philip island so you know preload is set to the, to the low i'm mean, almost lowest um, two or quality also to four so you know i'm not gonna uh, try and explain what is what all these things does because it's gonna then this video is gonna take a whole maybe a whole hour or two hours to to uh, to put together so i just want to show you what i'm using i mean preload is it's just to raise the rear or the front end of the bike depending on what your preference is and also what kind of track you you riding on you know a bumpy track i would say put the preload down because a taller bike will always be a bit unstable on bumpy tracks especially like quarter and stuff but in the game sometimes you know it, when you think logically it doesn't work that way because uh, the game i mean the uh, rear preload instruction will tell you something else but when you're riding the uh, the bike you feel something else and his bike is unrideable and he's just doing you know like uh, opposite 
stuff that the games tell you, you know, the, the changes we do. So, um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's just always down to your feeling, you know, the way you're able to apply the throttle, the way you're able to, um, uh, you know, to manage the braking, you know, manage the rear wobble, uh, the way you're able to uh, to get the bike to, uh, to turn, you know, less aggressive on downshifting on, on, on your gear and and just you know gent gentle and more delicate on your input so um, so this is a suspension setting we're gonna be moving on to the uh, geometry uh, setup as well um, for now this is what I'm using I mean I'm feeling very good at, with this geometry setting because I'm all I'm, I'm um, yeah it, it helps me to to maintain the tire grip or the front end very well especially on on uh, medium front or hard front, I was able to put push the uh, the bike more, you know, further into the corner uh, compared to like soft tire. Soft tire is just a bit wobbly and go eat uh, eat up very quickly. Um, and also my tire management, my tire usage is uh, is really good using this combination of uh, vehicle ge geometry. So um, yeah. Moving on to the gear ratio, the gear ratio is uh, is the one I've been using since the beginning. Uh, I found this gear ratio very stable, works with my riding style, how I tr like to downshift, and and uh, yeah, I mean the final ratio is depending on the track you are. Longer straight means that you need to uh, back back down the uh, uh, you know the final ratio to 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 get a better top speed. Uh, the same goes for uh, first to six gear as well because you know a, a lower. Um, give you a better uh, speed at the straight, and a, in a, you know, a higher setting will give you a better acceleration. So you need to find a, a balance between your traction control setting, your anti wheelie, all those stuff when you're setting a uh, yeah when you put it together your uh, gearbox setting. So slip clutch, I always put it in this area. I I don't always feel a m massive difference. But um, you know, yeah, it's just, that, that's just me. You know, um, you might you might feel feel it more, much better, but I don't always feel a, a whole lot of difference. Uh, the braking, the braking is one of the things that's very important in this game to get right. You know, the games always are recommending a um, a you know a standard setup like like this one here. So I've, when I first you know, doing lap on um, Phillip Island, I started with uh, with a 340 mil disc, thousand uh, gram, which uh, was all, all right. And I moved over to uh, 355 mil, which I was just much more comfortable on pushing the bike. And when I move over to uh, the one the game is recommending to me, I wasn't having the, uh, the, uh, the greatest feeling on it. So. Uh, I switch over to this one, and this really worked for me well. So it might work different to you, to you, for you, but this is just how, uh, I, yeah, how I do stuff. You know, in terms of the rear brake, yeah, I mean, I always leave it to this one, man. I don't really mess it a whole lot with the rear brakes. I always leave it just right here, 220 mil. That's all. And um, the uh, electronics. Most of the time, I always have my traction control to, to, uh, to second to two. The engine braking, depending on the track I am, three and maximum four. Um, you know, like let's say for Kota, Socket of America, you know, it's very bumpy. You know, you need to, you know, you know, set the engine braking to uh, to almost minimum because it can really, really mess up your lap when you hit a bump and on the braking sliding the rear or something like that, you know, your engine braking is going to be cutting in, then it's just going to lock the rear axle and you, you're you going to, yeah, you, yeah, you're going to crash. So, uh, most of the time I'm, I'm on three and maximum on four. anti really it's always a debatable, I'm always putting it on four because I hate that, uh, you know, losing a couple of tens because you are just a bit too greedy on throttle application, which if you are able to uh, apply the throttle much, much delicate, you can get a whole lot of um, speed, uh, you know, by using a low anti wheelie uh, setting. So power mapping, yeah, I mean, it says all. Oh, it's the power of the bike. So <laughs> yeah, this always stay on three for me. So that's it about the setting I'm using here. And let's head over to the track and see what we can do. All right, guys. So I feel like first thing you need to head on to a 
put together when you get a base setup from the game or copy someone settings is your gearbox settings i think that's very very important if you get a gearbox setting right then i think it will make your life a bit more easier to able to piece it together the other settings so let's say you are riding on philip island like i'm doing right now i have my traction control set to uh two my anti wheelie four ebs and you break system to uh, three um running low energy braking system benefits you greatly on a smooth track on a bumpy track you're gonna have a whole lot of problem um running traction control set to maximum we always lose your speed and running the anti wheelie set to highest level we are, we are always cutting down the power when you try to get on the gas you know let's say you are riding in Aston, you know a very flip flop very smooth uh fluid track you know the, the corner come very quickly and track like valencia as well my top process would be i need a short box acceleration from a to b uh with minimum wobble with minimum uh you know bike movement in order to uh have the confidence to break late deep into the corner so yeah and putting you know knowing that in your back of the air you know you need to work with the electronics the gearbox and you know lowering your traction control is always the best way to go and 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 between ebs and also anti really is debatable sometimes because i feel like running you know running to anti really we always cut the power down so you don't need that but also when you are only able to apply, apply the throttle much gentler then you're gonna be losing uh, a whole lot of lap time when you run in the anti really too low so um and the uh, second thing i think you need to be looking at are the braking disc the brake discs are so much more important in this game than previous games you can feel the difference between them personally i always go for 355 mil uh because of uh, uh, it's just so much easier for me to get back to turn to do what i wanted to do and nowadays you need to know how to use the rear brakes in order to to get the front to turn it much better because there's a whole lot of honesty a big thing into the game and the third thing i think you also really need to be working on and exploring are the tire compound you know now back in the day tire compound you just only have soft medium and hard i mean you still have the same compound in the game as well but back in the day i don't really feel a lot of difference between those but now with moto g 23 i do really feel the difference between how they react on the braking hard braking soft braking you know mid corner entry all, the, all, all those all those things so uh, i would say you should you need to be focusing on that to find a a, a break this that really work with the tire compound you are most comfortable on so if you're able to push these things together you could move up to the next level on trying to fine tune your setting you find in uh, other tracks and you know exploring and doing some experiments and from then on you're gonna you're gonna get quicker i'm not sure of that and more practice means you get better so pra practice ma make perfect guys you know it's just gonna take a lot of time but trust me when you put a lot of time in it you will get better so this will be the end of the uh, video i hope you enjoyed the video up to now if you do smash that subscribe button like the video and also comment i do massively appreciate your support of my channel i will see you at the next video guys stay safe out there peace